Hello everyone. I am just going to get things up on my computer so I can check for any uh, messages and things. So bear with me here. All right, we are good. So today is December 1st, holy cow. How does that happen, right? Um, I'm hoping that you guys all had a good Thanksgiving. We sure did. We hosted it at our house and um, our kids and their spouses were able to come. So it was a great time. Uh, really good, really good um, past few days. So anyway, today, uh, December 1st, and today is the first day of the last chance list and I have posted this on my blog if you have not seen it check out um, today's blog post and you can um, take a look at the whole list of everything that is leaving some of the things on the list are available at a uh, discounted savings so you'll want to check that out some of the things will carry over into the next big catalog but they won't be at bundled price. So that's something to be watching for. So um, today we are making two fun fold Christmas cards. Now these cards feature the painted Christmas designer series paper. This stuff is so pretty, so, so pretty. Um, it also features this cherry cobbler and gold ribbon. And this is one of the items that is going to be leaving. So if you're liking this, um, be sure to get it before they're gone. Um, one thing that I wanted to let you know also is um, in the past, Stampin' Up! has had um, a back order list. So things that you can order, but they're on back order and you'll get them later when they come in. And because of the pandemic and the whole big worldwide shipping um, problem that there is, they have decided not to put anything on back order anymore. Things will show up as non-orderable or no longer available. Um, so don't, if you see, if you're placing an order and you see that, don't be worried that, oh my gosh, it's completely discontinued and I can't get it anymore. It could simply be that that's one of the items that they're planning on getting in but they don't know when it will be so just just know that um all right so i am going to turn the camera down and we will get started hey if you're on here um send me some thumbs up say hello so i can make sure i'm not just talking to myself donna i do see that you are on so thank you okay i'm going to cover you up and move things down here with me as we Okay, so let's see if I've got everything straight and centered and everything else. Hi, Connie. Yeah, you bet. Okay, so here we are. I am going to... Hello, Glenda. Happy 12th month. Yeah, you, no kidding. Seems like it was just July. Okay, so this is the card that we're going to make here first. I will post this video um, to YouTube and to my blog. On my blog, it will have the full list of supplies as well as the dimensions. And that will post this Friday, which would be the third. Okay, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna move things over here. Okay, so first of all, let me show you how this opens this has a little belly band on it and then the card opens and opens like this all right so the card itself measures five and a half by 11 okay and so get my paper trimmer out here 
and I have scored it already but I want to walk through those measurements here with you so you're gonna score it at one and three quarters at five and a half and at nine and three quarters and this is cherry cobbler cardstock all right let me find my bone folder okay and what we're going to do then is fold so if we lay it this way we're going to fold the first um, score line we're going to fold it backwards okay so we had it like this, we're folding it backwards. And then we're gonna fold forward on the big one. I'm gonna make sure we're up there where you can see. All right, and then this last one, we're gonna fold that forward. All right, so if you're looking down on it, that's what we have, okay? Just like that. And then, let me find my other pieces. So let's decorate with the designer paper here first. So you pick out two prints. So I've got this one with the cherry cobbler kind of um, herringbone pattern, and I've got the pine um, pine cones. So, okay, so we have these two pieces here are each, um, let me just double check, three and a half by five and a quarter, okay? this one and this one. We have two more of the cherry cobbler ones. These measure one inch by five and a quarter. And then we have this other one of the pine cone and this is one and a half by five and a quarter. All right, let me get my glue out. Hello, Sheila, thanks for joining. Okay, and what we're gonna do here is Okay, so it's gonna go this way. We're gonna open this up and on this panel right here, this is where this is gonna go. So let me go ahead. You guys still have lots of leftover turkey or whatever you had for Thanksgiving? We had 13 people here and Dave fixed, I think it was a 23 three pound turkey and a turkey breast. And then we sent tons of turkey home with people and the fixings. Okay, so we have that there, then close this. Now we're gonna go with the pines and that's gonna go on here. And obviously you could make this same card using different prints, having it be for birthdays or any other occasion. It obviously does not need to be Christmas, but it's a, it's a very easy fun fold card to do. Okay, so we have the front part of it done with the exception of this right here. And that is gonna be one of these little skinny ones. And then on this little skinny one, we're gonna open that back up and we're going to put this panel on here. So that's both of those one inch pieces. All right, we've got that. Now open it up. We've got this panel here, and that's where this other pine cone one is going to go. Okay, just like that. Now on this piece, that's going to be the white, but we're going to do some stamping on it first. So I'm going to set this aside, and let's get this up. All right, so on here, we're going to use, oh, where's the stamps up? 
the Holly Jolly Wishes, and I'm going to use um, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, and that's going to be stamped in Cherry Cobbler. And what I always like to do when using red rubber, because I put the labels on there, and sometimes it's not all straight. So I like to use grid paper to stamp it down on and see, okay, how straight am I? And that is pretty straight. Sometimes you stamp it and it, it ends up being you know off like that. Then when you go to stamp it on your actual project, you know you need to kind of tweak it down a little bit. All right, I'll get this all inked up. And this is gonna go here. All right, next we're going to, let me set this aside. I'm gonna get out Evening Evergreen. And Early Espresso. And with the Christmas Seasons stamp set, this is part of the Painted Christmas Bundle, um, there's two sets of pine cones. So this is the large one. These two t go together and then the small ones. So I'm going to use the small ones and that is right here. So we have two. Now let me just stamp these so you can see the difference. Okay. See how this is bigger fill in and this is finer fill in. Does that make sense? <laughs> So what I want to do is I want to use the finer one here first, and I am going to stamp that like it's hanging down from um, pine, a pine bough. Then I'm going to use this image, but I'm going to stamp it off first, and then I'm going to put it right over the top of this first one. Okay, so then we get a two-toned look, which looks like the depth of the pine cone. All right, set that aside. Then with the Evening Evergreen, I've got two of the different, so there's this piece with pine boughs and there's this one. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna ink this up with the Evening Evergreen and stamp on either side of the pine cone and then I'm going to use the other one and stamp a little bit more on here. Okay, so that it looks like that pine cone is um, hanging right off of the pine tree. Okay, so we have this. This is then going to get put on the inside of our card. Don't you just love the colors in this? The cherry cobbler and the evening evergreen. Oh, they're so rich. Okay. Okay, so the card itself is already done, but now we wanna work on the belly band. And so the belly band is a piece of evening evergreen, and this measures one and seven eighths by 11. Okay, and so some of you are going, oh my gosh, what is one in seven eighths? So let's take a close look here. Okay, if we're looking at the trimmer here, here's one inch, here's two inches, okay? In between that is one and a half, then this next bigger line is one and three quarters, one in seven eighths is right here just two little ticks shorter than the two inches, all right? And then I scored it at three inches, so fold that, and then I scored it again at seven and three eighths. And this ends up being wide enough that it fits around the card and you could slide this on and off. Hello, Eve. Nice to have you here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to close this up. So I'm going to put some glue here and some glue right here. All right, so let's bring it, okay, like that. And then just close it up. 
There's our belly band, but let's get ready for the decorative part of the belly band. Then I have a piece of basic white, and this measures, um, let's see, this measures four and a quarter by one and five eighths. Four and a quarter by one and five eighths. You know, I say the four and a quarter, and I'm not quite sure that's right. Four and one eighth. Four and one eighth. Hello, Helen. Okay, so, whoops, I don't need that. Let's get this back over here. And I'm going to use. Where did it go? I've got it here. Yep. From the same stamp set from the Holly Jolly Wishes. I'm using It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. All right, and this is going to be in Cherry Cobbler. So let's swap that out. And again, this is a red rubber stamp, so I'm gonna stamp it off on my grid paper, trying to make sure that it's gonna be nice and straight and see if it is. Okay, here, can you see how this tips down some? I don't know if you can see from there how it's higher right here than it is down here. And I thought I had this nice and straight in trying to do it. Yeah, it tips just a little bit. So when I stamp it on my paper, I'm going to kink it this way just a little bit to get it straight. So I'm gonna hover over it and then kink it just a little bit. Okay. So we've got that. Next, so this is what the belly band looks like. And so with this, we're going to make the pine cone and the two um, holly leaves. So just a scrap of crumb cake and the early espresso. And now we're gonna use the two big pine cones. Remember before we used the littler one? We're gonna use the big one now. And so the one that is smaller lines is going to go on here first. And that is full strength ink. And then we're going to go with the bigger one, stamping it off and going back over the top. Okay, so we have this. And then with the seasonal labels dies, which is in the bundle, with the Christmas season. So this comes together as a bundle. And we are going to use the die for the big pine cone. All right, so let's get that over here. Ta-da, there it is. Then I have a scrap piece of basic white. And with this, an evening evergreen. I'm using the two holly berries, or I'm sorry, the two holly leaves, like this. And there is a die for this as well. Whoops. There we go. Um, right here. So this one is gonna go right on top and we'll cut that out. And the nice thing about this is it cuts them both out together. All right, so now let's get this put together. So here's our belly band, and we have our seam that's gonna go in the back. This is gonna go on top. Oh, it just dawned on me. I didn't grab the ribbon out or my bow maker, so we'll have to grab that here. All right, let's get this on here. Okay, we've got that. And then I'm gonna use a few dimensionals for the pine cone. And that's gonna go here like this. And then with the holly leaves, I'm gonna tuck those under like this. And I'm going to attach that with the glue. I don't want those popped up. I want them to tuck right in here. Okay, let's 
get it on the card and then we'll make the bow. Okay, so there's that. We'll grab the ribbon. Okay, so it's going to be approximately an eight inch piece of ribbon. I prefer to work right off the roll. Um, so, cross that over and tie it in a knot. Okay, and then I got my scissors. Okay, so there's our bow. Now let me grab a glue dot. And just stick that on there. And this is going to go right there. So there's card one. So very easy, and I think a very impressive looking card. Isn't it pretty? All right, so there is card one. Let me move this stuff aside, and then we'll do card number two. So this is card number two, and this opens like this. All right, so let's squish things over. All right, so the first thing, all my parts. All right, I have a piece of Evening Evergreen, and this measures four and a quarter by 11, and I have scored it at five and a half. Then I'm gonna take the paper trimmer. So this is four and a quarter, and we need to find the middle of this. And so four and a quarter divided by two would be two and one eighth, okay? So it's two little ticks after the two inch mark, all right? And I'm just gonna take my cutting part and I'm just gonna cut into this just a little tiny bit, okay? Can you see where I've cut that? Maybe if I put something white behind it, you can see. So just the tiniest little bit there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take and put it, let me grab, let's see, where did I put my scissors? Lord, I just had them. Here they are. Okay. So here is the little tick mark, and I want that right in this track here. Okay. So that's going to sit there. And then what I want to do is I want to take and move the rest of this, and I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Um, this is where my score line is, and in fact, to make it a little bit easier, let me actually fold it on the score line so you can see better. I want to put the score line right in the track and that little tick mark that I made, okay? So I'm going to be cutting from the tick mark down here to the score line, okay? So I've got it where I want it, and then I'm going to cut that down. So now I have this triangle. And then what I'm gonna do is the same thing, putting the score line, which is up here now, in that groove, and right here to this point, which is where that tick line was. And so we're cutting that, all right? Now, let's get this so you can see it well. So we have, this part is this. Now this part is these two extra pieces, all right? And what we're gonna do with these two extra pieces that we have cut off of here, so they were on like this, we are gonna take and attach them on here. So, Let's look at how it fits on there. We're going to take this one and we're going to line up like how this edge is. We're going to make this edge parallel to it. We want to make sure that the corner doesn't hang down 
or off this way. If it does, you're not going to be able to get it in the envelope. Okay, so it's going to go like that. So when we put the adhesive on the back of this piece, we don't want any down here. If we put some down here, we're going to be gluing our card closed and we will have a postcard instead of a card that you can open and close. So let's get some adhesive on here. It's better to go a little short because you can always pick up that little end and put it back in there. Squish some more in there if you need to. All right, so I'm making sure that the ends don't go over and I'm making this edge to be parallel with this. All right, get that down there, good. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here with this one, but not quite yet. What we wanna do first is we want to put our designer paper on there. So, let me set this aside. And the designer paper, oops, oh, I just lost you guys on my computer for trying to see things. So hang on just a second while I try and get you back on here. Okay. All right. So designer paper, you need two pieces that measure two inches by two inches by five and a quarter. And then what we're going to do, get our paper trimmer back out. We're going to take and put one corner in the track there and one corner in the track down here. Okay. And we're going to cut it. Now, you think you're ready for this, right? So we cut this one piece in half. But if we take and turn it, it doesn't fit. One piece fits here, but the other one doesn't. So what we need to do, and I will show you this so that it makes a little more sense. So this one we cut from left to right. We need to cut the other one from right to left, okay? So this one is going to go here. All right, so let me get these out of the way, the paper trimmer out of the way, so that you can see just what we did. Okay, we had two pieces that measured two inches by five and a quarter. The first one we cut from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. The second one we cut from the upper right corner to the lower left corner. And the reason that's important, we cut these two triangles off of here and we need one piece that's going to fit on here. But if we take this other piece, it doesn't fit. Okay, so we need this piece from here. So we had to take one from each side. Okay, so we're taking this one and this one. Now, these are not to be thrown away because when you get ready to make your next card, you've got what you need. All right, I'm just gonna set those aside. And so, let's go ahead and attach this. You guys are really quiet tonight. Still recovering from Thanksgiving weekend, huh? Or freaking out that uh, Christmas is only 24, 24 days away. Nuts. That's nuts. Okay, and so this is going to have just the tiniest of borders on it, like that. And then on this other one, we'll attach this here. like that again with just the tiniest of borders and then this one is going to go on just like we did this one so keeping this um, parallel making sure that the side and the bottom does not 
stick out over the card base. And so adhesive just on the top portion of that. Okay. All right, so now we have this. Okay, so you see how that goes. Now let's um, let's do the inside. So the inside is another one of the prints from this. <laughs> to minimize mistakes, yes. Like I said, I will have the instructions on the blog on um, on Friday as well, but. Okay, so then another print of the designer paper. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I used a scrap of um, basic white so I, I started out with is like four inches by two and three quarters, and I used the where is it scalloped contours dies. Okay, and I used this third one. So it's the third largest or the third smallest. It's the middle sized one, and cut out this. Okay. And then on this, what I want to do before I stick it down, where's my foam mat? Okay. Is I want to stamp the berries. Now, I've heard that people have a hard time with these berries. Let me show you. Find it here. So we have the stems and we have the berries. Okay. When you look at the berries, so let me just stamp it down here. Okay, see how you have one, two, three berries in a row and then you have kind of this lone one sticking off to the side. You wanna stamp it basically that way with the three berries up. So in other words, don't stamp it that way. Don't stamp it that way. Don't stamp it up and down. Your stems won't work right if you do. Okay, so we're going to put this up here, about right there. And this is Cherry Cobbler ink. So we've got that stamped. Now we're gonna go to the stem portion in the Evening Evergreen. And now if you look at this, let's do it here. There is three stems, one, two, three, that are kind of all in a row. And then you have this other one right here, which is sort of by itself. So the one, two, three stems are there. So let me just show you here on this. Okay, so that's how it's gonna go. This third one, that sits here by itself, there's a gap in between there, which makes this berry fit. All right, so let's ink that up again. We're on here, and now we're going to put the stems on. All right, like that. This is gonna go on in the center of the card. Okay, so now if you look closely, can you see how that scallopy um, piece is kind of poking out there? We're going to cover that up. So what we're gonna do, a couple of things here that we need. Okay, first of all, we're gonna stamp another one of the berries on a scrap of basic white. So just like we did here, we're gonna do the three berries and then we're going to do the stem in evening evergreen all right and we're going to get that cut out ta-da 
We have a piece of crumb cake. We're going to use the large, or no, I'm sorry, we're gonna use the small pine cones again. All right, so we are going to use the one that is more detailed first, and I'm gonna stamp two of these. All right, that's the one that's more detailed. Then we're gonna use the other one and stamp it off first and go over the top. Stamp it off again and go over the top. And then we're gonna use the die for that and cut those out. And lastly, on another scrap, we're going to use soft succulent ink and we are going to use, where is it, right here. And let me show you on the package. So we're gonna use this image and we're gonna stamp two of these. All right, and I will show you. So you see here how this is very solid and this is kind of speckly. That is how this stamp set was designed. So it's, um, it's got shading to it. Same thing here with the leaves, the leaves here. That's the way it's designed. So it's not like, oh gosh, it's not picking up enough ink. Okay, and then there is a die that goes with this. So this would fit over the top of it and you'd run it through. And we're gonna get two of those cut out right here. Okay, time to assemble. So first of all, let me just get this a little crisper so it stops popping open on me. Okay, so first of all, we're going to take and put our two leaves down, and these are going to go uh, about like that. So these are going to go flat, not popped up. And we just want it on this front triangular um, portion of the card and we don't want it to hang over the side. So make sure you don't go nuts with the glue or whatever your adhesive of choice is. All right, so, whoop, stuck to my finger. Let's try that again. All right. And then next, we're going to get, uh, we want this next, our berries. And I am going to put a dimensional on this. And this is going to hang down just like that. And then we have our two pine cones. these are going to cover up part of the berry stems and part of the leaf stems. And then we're going to go back to the bow maker and the same cherry cobbler gold ribbon and make another bow. Okay, and then another little glue dot. And this is gonna go right on top here. All right, so there is our second card. All right, so there's the original. Oh, nope, we forgot the banner. So for that, I have just a thin little piece of Whisper White or Basic White. It measures a half inch by, I think it's four and a quarter right now. And I'm gonna use the Time of Giving stamp set and just the Season's Greetings here. So let's turn this back around this way. Cherry Cobbler, 
Again, it's red rubber, so I'm gonna make sure that this is gonna stamp straight. Yep, that looks straight. Get that all inked up. All right. All right, I think I have it down a little too far, so I'm gonna flip it over and do it again and just bring it up a little bit higher. Okay, all right, and so then, grab my little scissors. I'm gonna trim off a little bit on the ends. All right, then I wanna make a banner. So the easiest way to do that is to put a little slice in there, right in the middle, and then cut from corner to slice. And then same thing over here. Cut to the middle and slice from the corner to the middle. All right. And this is gonna go on with a couple dimensionals. I'm actually gonna use three. It's going to go right there. Okay, so card number one. And my little belly band back here. And card number two. And that's how that one opens up. So what do you guys think? Yeah, I, I agree with you, Glenda, that evening evergreen is such a beautiful color. So, I hope you guys like this. Um, next week, I have grab them. I have two more that I'm going to show you that are in this same set. So, one is this pop-up card that pops like that. And the other one is a tower card. So, this one starts out like this. This is how it would be in the, um, in the envelope. And then it does this. Okay, and so it can flip open. You have a little spot here for a little bookmark it could be. Flip it again. This is where you would write whatever you want to write in it. And here there is a pocket to put a gift card. So pretend this is a gift card. And that goes in there. So next week I will be showing you how to make these two. All right? So I want to thank you for taking a little time out of your day to spend with me in my stampin' studio. And so until we meet again, enjoy life, stamp something, and eat chocolate. Thank you. Bye-bye.